Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> See, this is what happens when I keep trying. Okay, what do I want to say? Uh, I'm hungry for Mexican food, so I'm going to Walmart. Plus, I have a little problem. I want to take my nail polish off. No remover. How can I not have? I've looked everywhere. And if my face looks shiny, it's because I've got that grapeseed oil on it. I really love this grapeseed. It just goes into my skin. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> so it's the day after Valentine's. Um, had a great time. Danny was here. We went to a restaurant in the mountains that I really like. And it was really good. But I don't want to go outside. I just looked on the internet. We have about 30 miles an hour winds with gusts up to 52-ish. But I gotta go. I want Mexican food. I wanted enchiladas, but everyone says, well, don't make enchiladas. Just make enchilada, um, like, um, you know, casserole. So I'm going to do that. Except I was trying to remember what I put in enchiladas. So I was looking on the internet. And they're all like, a, there's like, you look at a hundred, there's a hundred different ways. So I guess I'm going to figure out how to fake it myself. So, I guess I'm going. Plus I have to get drugs. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, this may not even be a vlog. Who knows? Who knows. Oh, this is insanity. I could barely get my door open to get in. <laughs> the wind is so bad. I, they um, featured one of the cashiers at Rite Aid about the living wage. It's $15 is the living wage. <laughs> she makes half that. And uh, I guess they did a full um, front page article about her. So I'm going to have to look for it because she's the cutest thing. She's really a, a really cool woman on top of it. But $15. She was telling me what she made. She makes half of that. And $15 is considered the living wage. It's like, so I said, what do you do? Because I know she has two children. She says, I work two jobs. But luckily, she can take her kids with her on some nights to the other one. Oh, life is tough these days. It really is. Well, off to Walmart if I can get in it. Because, I mean, I could barely open my door. Seriously, I had to wait for a break in the gust. And it is not 50. It's more. Because I had trouble walking, like, to my car. Oh, well. I'm just hungry for Mexican food. <laughs> oh, that was a quick trip. It only, I'm only five minutes away. So I got um, bread. And then I just got this. This was the smallest pack. I wanted white corn tortillas. But that was the smallest pack. Because I'm not going to need that much. Yes, to blend. Some more of these. I'm totally strung out on them. The Hill by Hillshire. Two avocados, they were on sale. Purple onion, sour cream, enchilada sauce, jalapenos, and then I really liked using this at my daughter's house, so I bought some of that. And paper towel. And nail polish remover, which is what I need. I don't know. I can't believe I used up all that nail polish, but I've been polished my nails all the time so I guess I did well anyway I'm going to <laughs> take the hamburger out of the freezer and nuke it for a minute and get it fried <laughs> okay I forgot I forgot to pull it out oh well huh. I'm nuking the hamburger oh man it is so windy 
Well, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, which is, a, I don't know why you would, because I don't, don't post that up. But Danny got me. This is all the rage here, adult coloring books. <laughs> and uh, and uh, magic markers. And they're one-sided. Um, let me see if I can show you some. They're one-sided. Uh, let's see. Like here's a cat. Let's see. And you know, I think I'm gonna put a piece of paper in between to make sure they don't oh look at this one. I like this one. So I don't know if you can see it. So it's called Coloring to Relax the Busy Mind. 62 designs, stress free. It says start thinking outside the box and still staying inside the lines. <laughs> Color Creatives, that's the name of the book, I guess, Color Creatives. Peaceful patterns create an escape with a beautiful calming design that makes it simple to relieve stress and relax your mind. Inside you will find a dozens of ways to color yourself to clarity and let your creative energies flow. A variety of patterns including mandalas, gardens, animals, paisleys, and more. Perforated page, pages, ideal for easy removal and display masterpieces. So, here's one kind of like the evil eye. I'm, I'm going to try it. Why not? If they perf, perforate it, I may just tear them out. Let's see how easy they are to tear. Oh, there it is. Got it should be very easy to tear but they're all the rage here and the adult ones are um, the most probably the most common ones so you know like they'll have a swear word with really cool paisley and flower designs in them my glasses I think have oil from putting oil on my skin well, I only have about that much paperwork to do I'm telling you. I'm just going to cook dinner. Uh, TV updates. Oh, wow. I found... I think it's like... Um, I I don't know what channel it's on. Because uh, I watched the free TV project. Um, but it's called The Outsiders. And I think it's like the replacement for Sons of Anarchy. Uh, <laughs> except that they're... I, uh, I don't like to call them hillbillies, uh, but I guess they are hillbillies. I don't, I don't know the term that would, the moonshiners, um, what's, I, I don't know. Well, anyway, it's, they live on a mountain to themselves and they don't really interact and I don't think you, uh, as far as these guys go that they're I mean they make moonshine but they want to have little to no interaction with um, the, reg the regular population around them in the city um, and it's the dynamic within their own clans and everything it's really interesting Again, it's called The Outsiders. I really liked it. And Project Runway All-Stars. Those are my favorite programs, The All-Stars. Great. Everybody on it, I love. Except maybe for one dweepy guy. He doesn't have anything good to say about anybody. And you know, I wouldn't like that type of person. Well, the hamburger has, has binged. So I'm going to throw it in a skillet. And, um... I think I'm just going to like put sauce, tortillas, meat, cheese, um, tortillas, and I, oh, I'm going to fry in the hamburger, the jalapenos. I like everything to have a bit of a spicy little kick. And uh, I'm going to top it all off, you know, after it's done, serve it with um, sour cream and purple onions. Danny's coming. He's here for just literally I think just plain leaves he's gonna have to get up at four or something I don't know uh, it's hard to know his schedule and I have a bunch of paperwork 
Oh, and I canceled my mammogram. And um, eye appointment. Because I just didn't. I just, I had a problem. Um, um, off the steroids. Everything seems to be fine on that department. I just have a chronic problem that I fight that every now and then kicks up. I, I forget I even have it. It's just how little it kicks up. But So I'm going to go fry the hamburger. thought you'd enjoy seeing my peaceful patterns. Uh, I, I think, you know, I'm, I, you know I'm, I'm laughing at it, but... I don't know. It looks kind of fun to do if you want to know the truth. <laughs> I mean, I like coloring with my granddaughter, so I mean, you know, I don't know how good these markers are. I like lip, lip pen markers are my favorite. I may have to go buy some. But, I mean, Danny just, you know, he's heard that, I don't know if they're all the rage where you live. Um, um, Anita bought one for Kylie, but thinking it was for Kylie, not adults. And so when I talked to her this morning and told her I'd gotten one, she goes, that's for an adult? She goes, no, they're for children. I think she has it in her mind that all coloring books are for children. And they may be. So I may just be, you know... I'm not an old lady, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go fry hamburgers. Well, the hamburger's almost done. Somebody called me. Ugh. The wind's just making me cold, the sound of it. and It's not cold in here. So I, I only put half a can of the jalapenos in because it seemed like that was a lot. So I put the rest in a baggie and threw it in the freezer. I can't see why it wouldn't work. So... So I've got my pan out here, and I'm going to put some sauce down, then tortillas, then meat, cheese, so so on, and just layer it. I hope I have enough cheese. i got to charge my battery. So that's just the first layer. I put corn tortillas. I broke one and a half to put here because it's just like it would be like overlap, overlap, overlap. So I kind of moved them around. Put a little sauce, hamburger, cheese. So now I'm going to put another layer of the corn tortillas and see how they're overlapping. So it's like I don't know. I don't know about this. I gotta count the tortillas. Well, I think back. this one was a flop. <laughs> I kind of just tore, there was only two tortillas. So I kind of tore them up and just kind of put them around. So basically for this size, which is what your regular, I don't know, oblong pan. Um, I don't think I have enough meat. I use only one pound. Didn't have enough corn tortillas. And still have a half a can of uh, this enchilada sauce. So, and I've drenched them in enchilada sauce. I'll try to put some more on, but I don't think I can do it. I don't think it's going to be a fail. But I don't think it was excellent. So, I'm going to throw it in a 375 for those of you that don't live at high altitude, that's a 350. And I don't know, cook it until the cheese melts and browns a little. I don't think this is going to be one of my better ones. <laughs> oh well. Should have just stuck with making corn tortilla, uh, in, you know, rolling enchiladas. Because I would have bought more corn tortilla. See, that's where I went wrong, is I just didn't buy, like, what I would normally buy. So I think you use the same amount, it's just you don't have to roll them. Which I hate rolling enchiladas. Okay, well let me go put it in the oven. Well, I think I definitely declared that next time I want enchiladas, I'm going to go, um, just out. <laughs> 
I didn't buy any lettuce to put on the top of them. <laughs> so, but I do have sour cream and purple onions, so that would be nice. It has lots of cheese. So I guess they could be like cheese enchiladas. Oh well. You know, I was just hungry. And, you know, uh, uh, several people have told me, D -d you don't hand roll enchiladas, just make enchilada casserole taste the same. So, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, you win some, you lose some. I don't know. It might come out great. I'll tell you guys about it. But definitely should have bought more enchilada, I mean, more tortillas. Maybe, I don't know, because normally I eat chicken enchiladas when I go out. Or just cheese enchiladas. Or get the, you know, when they have the combo pay, plate and you get like beef, chicken, and cheese. I like that one. I think I'll just go out and eat Mexican food next time. Oh well. Avocados were cheap. They're only 75 uh, cents a piece, so that's cheap. Uh, um, I think I'm going to go outside and take off my nail polish because I can't stand the smell of acetone. Um, and get my nail polish off and cut off my nails. I just try to keep them as short as I can because I have to do some stuff. I'm going to be uh, cleaning my... Um, I have a computer. <laughs> you'll look, you'll laugh and go, "Oh my God!" It actually does work, but I use it when I give computer examples. So I'm going to show you basically how to clean your computer, and um, I'm going to go take off my nail polish while it bakes, and we'll see what happens. If I can stand being outside, it is so windy. I need to look up, but it's not unusual for us to get gusts. You know, where, like if we were in Florida, we'd be having a hurricane. They just call it, you know, gusts of wind here. You know, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm a little bummed about the enchiladas, okay? I'm a little bummed. That's it finished. I mean, it looks pretty good. I think it's going to be okay. Well, it's... I got like about an hour. So I'm going to put it back in the oven. Just let it stay warm. Because the oven's cooling down. I got my nail polish off. So I'm going to take a shower. And put some oil on my nails. They feel really dry. I mean really dry. But. Came off. So that equate nail polish isn't bad from Walmart. Um, Didn't have any trouble getting. And if you, if you, if you can get black or red off with a nail polish remover, it's good. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Hey, and please subscribe if you're new because I, I love <laughs> subscribers. I think I just spit on myself. <laughs> but I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.